Hey there. Today, I want to talk about how is it that you can calculate your prices. And not only that, I have taken the time to create a spreadsheet where I want to guide you following a five-step process to not only know exactly how much money you were going to take home, but also how much is going to be the price that will be getting your business to a profitable stage and also a healthy stage, okay? And before I share with you this tool, I want to share with you a story. This is today is actually um, the day number 30 after I open our official headquarters of Marketing for Greatness. I uh, essentially created a partnership. And one of the things that I am very proud of is that our business is starting with profit since day number one. And I know, I know that there are many people that they believe that a business would not see profits after five years. And honestly, that's not true. And I have not only seen this in my service-based business as a marketer, but I also saw that as a lawyer. And I also saw that when I was selling nutritional products. Now, here's, here's the, the reality. Taking your business to profit has to do with the way that you choose to manage your company. And if you have the chance to create the structure and to create the business model, you're lucky. And that means that you have the power to determine how much money you're going to take home, how much money are you going to profit. And based on that, it's going to be the prices that you create to really keep your business in that growth mode, but always, always in profits from the first year. You know, let's put it in that way. So let me now, i um, going to share the, the screen in this sheet sheet that I created for you. Um, don't touch it. Don't touch it until I explain all of the, the steps, because I want to make sure that you don't mess up the formulas that I have created here. Okay. So step number one, I wanted to calculate all of your business expenses. And if you don't know all of them yet, maybe you want to just find what's the average cost of X, Y, and Z. Um, I actually went ahead and created an example. I put you some of the estimates. This is considering that you are uh, essentially a coach um, or you provide consulting services and you want to have a business that you can operate from anywhere in the world. I did not put here any rent. I did not put here any employees. This is the solopreneur mode that it's been what I have done um, for the last five years. Now is the very first time when I actually invested and have the office and all of that. So um, try to come up with a number that it's um, as close as possible to your year estimate. So logo and branding, that's one. Website development, that's one. You might have a question and say, well, what if I didn't spend that money now? And maybe I spent it, you know, last year. It's okay. I just want you to have the idea of how much have you invested in your business so that when people buy from you, they are actually paying you back for all of the investments that you have done. So logo and branding, website development, hosting, any data storage, your CRM system, uh, cost of goods sold. If you buy any anything that you buy, you know, props and things like that. Subscriptions, there's a lot of them, right? Social media management. Here's the tricky part. You might be doing the social media management yourself. And here is something very important. If you're doing that, that is still a cost associated that you need to track or else you are actually getting paid less because you're not considering the right amount for this particular activity. And this is something that I actually was completely blind about it and I didn't put too much, um, I would say, I was not conscious about it, right? And when I saw the number, I'm like, wait, I need to, I need to really become more efficient or else I'm wasting time, time that I can really maximize doing other things. SEO management, copywriting, supplies, equipment, 
contractors, freelancers, these are all in numbers that you are going to be entering into the spreadsheet. Advertising, networking, referral fees, miscellaneous, professional development, personal development. Notice that I put here $5,000 each per year. I mean, I believe that you are the result of how much you grow. Uh, the more you grow, the more you get paid and the more confidence you're going to get about your unique value proposition. So um, yeah, so this will be the step number one, okay? I want you to add up, um, you know, enter all the numbers and the formula is here. So you will see the number automatically. Now let's go to step number two. I want you to um, put how much you want to get paid. So for example, if you want to make at least six figure income, um, notice how I started to kind of like play with the formula a little bit to, to see, you know, to see how much you, you needed to make, right? So if you want to make, you know, a six-figure income, that means that your salary needs to consider that you're going to have to pay taxes on that, right? And I don't want to get you confused on the taxes and things like that. That's something that you definitely want to talk with, you know, an accountant so they can create the, the tax structure that most will benefit you, okay? Okay. So here I put personal expenses is an estimate because not all of the expenses, you're going to be able to put them, you know, against your business. Um, if you're a mom, just like me, here you have expenses that are, you know, not necessarily directly for the business. But if I have to pay for, you know, cleaning my house, for example, if I have to pay for, you know, child care because I need more time, I, I need to put that as far as how much money I want to get paid, right? So um, step number three, this is where formula kicks in. You are going to see that your business expenses plus how much money you want to get paid, that is going to be basically added here. So the formula is going to add up the 145 in this example, plus the expenses. And that's where this number is coming from. Notice that it is actually a formula. So everything that is red, that means you don't touch the number. Um, this should be a number that will come up automatically, okay? So that is your revenue goal. That's step number three. Step number four is the pricing um, calculator for the services that you will basically render, correct? So production cost, uh, whatever it is that you need to pay, you know, in order to produce the kind of service. Let's say that you are a photographer. Well, your costs are going to be, you know, how much money you have to spend in gas, how much money you have to spend, you know, in the, in the things that you need to really provide that service. Those are things that usually you need to have before you start working with your clients. Then how much time? it's going to be, you know, needed from you. And this is where we have this amazing formula that will calculate, well, how much money you think that you should be making per hour. So that minimum hour as an entrepreneur is going to be determined by how much money you truly need to get paid, right? You, your, your prospect has no business in telling you how much money is that you need to get paid. You see, in this example, Every time when you accept less than $85 an hour, that means that you are not going to most likely be profitable because it's going to take you much, much effort if you start getting paid less, okay? So I hope that you are appreciating this part because I, to me, it's such an eye-opening, you know, um, to see that um, sometimes we have, to, we have to change the mindset of an employee and we need to really have the mindset of an entrepreneur, right? This is one of the particular examples, like why you need to think as an entrepreneur um, more than ever, okay? Gone are the days of you are just, you know, um, comparing yourself with making, you know, $30, $40, $50. Just keep in mind, your $85 are going to mean, you know, much less because you have other obligations. So how much is the cost of your service? Well, the direct cost associated and then the labor, this is basically carrying on the formula from, from the top, right? So this is um, the equivalent of this. And then the labor is calculating your time times your hourly rate. And this is your cost. So if you're working with a client on a product and it costs you $99 to make it, 
and it took you five hours to deliver that particular service, that means that your cost is $524. So let's say that you gave somebody three hours for free. You actually, <laughs> if you gave somebody three hours for free, you actually didn't like bill potentially, you know, multiply your hourly fee times three, plus how much did it cost you to be there, right? So now that you have your cost, we are going to calculate the profit. And I left you here um, different um, opportunities for you to basically know, okay, so how much profit do I want to make? Do you want to have a healthy profit? Yes, you do. So in this particular service, if you calculate that the cost was 524 and you want to have it at a very healthy profit, then that means that you are going to have it for $943 at least. So let's say $1,000, right? To just round it up. And now Here's, here's one area that when I was doing this, I'm like, wow, they're going to be really confused because very often when you hear or you see offers that they say you're getting $15,000 worth of, you know, tools, blah, 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 blah. Those extras that you give away to increase the value, the perceived value should not add any additional cost to your service. I'm going to say this one more time. The perks, the tools, the things that you give away to increase the value, the perceived value of your package should not add more cost to your services. That is why you can create products like books. You can create courses that they don't need any more of your time. The minute that you add more time, now you know that you're going to diminish your profit. The minute that you add more things that will cost you more, you're going to diminish your profit. So in this particular example, if I want to make $1,000, I need to make sure that I'm not spending more than five hours on the, on the, on the service, and I'm not adding more than $100 towards that account in particular. And how much this marketing offer will come up, you know, when I do the marketing promotions, definitely I want to follow the 10x rule. Meaning if you're going to pay me a thousand, I want to make sure that you see in my offer at least $10,000 worth of valuable resources. I hope that this is making sense. Keep in mind, if you are in the accelerator program, you have resources and tools that will help you to create your products, to create your offers, to create your packages. If you are not, if you are not, but you want to get help on how exactly it is that you can implement your business model, how is it that you can create your packages and grow your business with profits from day one? Stay tuned because I am going to open an invitation for my business coaching program. We call them accelerators. Actually, I'm wearing a shirt, Accelerator Greatness. Um, you will be wearing the shirt if you and I decide that this is a fit for you. But I will not do this invitation open. It will only be to people who are really interested in growing because our Accelerator Stripe, we have been together for six months. I cannot wait to have new people in our accelerators, but also I want to make sure that they are the right fit, okay? So let me know what you think about this particular tool, and I cannot wait to read your feedback on this, okay? Bye for now.